made us kings and priests unto God and his Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Mr. Victoria, you know, I'd like to read this verse to you because it's, to me, it's just so uplifting and beautiful, and it's about God's love and protection of Jerusalem. You know, Jerusalem is where God has placed his name, and it is Isaiah, if you go to Isaiah chapter 31, verse 5, as birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem, defending also, he will deliver it, and passing over, he will preserve it. Now, we know things are coming. We know about uh, Revelation and how the, the Antichrist will come into Jerusalem and all. But the wonderful joy that I have in my heart is to know for us believers, we are going to be with him. We, so we have so much to look forward to. And that's what gives me the joy, to know that we will be with the Lord for all eternity. And we will rule and reign with the Lord forever and forever. That's what keeps me going. That's my hope. And my other hope is the rapture. Yes, we are to be watching for the Lord. Always be watching for the Lord. That is in our Bible scriptures. And so he has given us so many signs. And so I'm very eager. My heart is full of anticipation as I'm sure yours is if you're a believer. So we'll just keep watching and hoping for the blessed hope. Amen. Israel News. It says here, On the same day that President Trump acknowledged Jerusalem as the eternal Jewish capital, two Israeli archaeologists from Bar Ilan University announced the discovery of 1,300-year-old coins from the Islamic Umayyad dynasty imprinted with an image of the menorah. Though bearing inscriptions praising Allah, the coins were another piece of proof that early Islam recognized Jerusalem as the site of the Jewish temple. And now, the, the title, of, I forgot to tell you the title of this is Five Top uh, Holy Menorah Discoveries on the Eve of Hanukkah. Now, right now, you know, we're celebrating Hanukkah. And uh, the next article here, it says, Menorah inscriptions found in Spain's ancient pagan temples hint at Atlantis. It says, undoubtedly the most unexpected place to discover inscriptions depicting the seven-branch menorah were in a 3,000-year-old pagan temple in Spain. While filming the documentary Atlantis Rising, Emmy-winning journalist Simka Jakabovsky uh, I think it's Jacob Bovisky, I'm not sure on that, sorry, recognized these symbols as the Jewish menorah. His astounding theory explains the symbols connected the lost city of Atlantis with the Jewish temple and even with the exodus of Egypt, it says. The next one is, it says here, the title is, Is the Original, this is number three, Is the Original Menorah in the Vatican? An exhibit jointly hosted by the papal seat and Rome's ancient Jewish community was intended to showcase the growing Jewish-Vatican relationship, but the menorah-themed exhibit resurrected suspicions that the original menorah, which is five feet tall and was made with 130 pounds of solid gold, is hidden somewhere in the Vatican. The whereabouts of the original menorah from the Second Temple are shrouded in mystery, but a carving in the Arch of Titus in Rome depicting the sacking of Jerusalem in 70 A.D. and uh, it's a C.E. but I like to say A.D. and a first-hand account of Josephus Flavius, a first-century Roman Jewish scholar, hint that it was at one time in the Roman hands. Number four, menorah of the third temple is ready and waiting. It says after intensive research into the biblical requirements, the Temple Institute completed a model of the menorah one year ago that is intended to be used in the third temple. Though not made of solid beaten gold, it was determined that a full-size gold-plated version was acceptable for the use. The menorah stands on the stairs of the Western Wall in Jerusalem, awaiting for the day when it will once again be used in the service of God. And number five, menorah 
and temple oil lit near Temple Mount. And this says, On the first day of Hanukkah last year, a special four-foot-tall menorah constructed of gold-bladed wood was lit in a spot overlooking the temple. Kohanim, Jewish men of priestly descent wearing the biblically mandated priestly garments, used specially prepared gold and silver utensils to reenact the menorah lighting ceremony as it was performed in the temple. The olive oil used was specially prepared and should the need arise stands ready for the temple use. And Shalom, this is Victoria. Okay, what you just heard is a repost reposted from uh, a couple of years back and things have changed so much now all over the world since this video was made. Now, we had a channel, it was Shema Ministries Jerusalem and um, so we're posting some of the videos that were on that channel onto this channel and then we're making a decision whether to start the new channel of Shema Ministries because the other one, they um, YouTube and Google, because apparently things were not according to what they wanted to see or hear, um, stop putting notifications out and we lost over 14,000 subscribers because of what they have decided to do and now the new restrictions yesterday uh, that came out please go in and read those I mean there it's just absolutely technoc these giant tech companies really taking over people's opinions taking over people's freedoms and of course does it surprise us well if we read our scriptures we realize that we're in those latter days and According to Daniel, he spoke about the fourth beast system, which is the fourth huge government system that comes all over the world. It's a global system, which is what we're in now. And uh, it hasn't been finalized yet, but you can see how it's all coming together for the, the Revelation 13 beast government. And if you study Prophet Daniel, he spoke about how horrific the last government would be and so sorry to say um, you know our as far as our view counts what happened on the other channel was they they would show the likes but there would be no views so all many many views were just completely deleted and you know it's it reminds me of the voting system and what is going on now now I gave a word and that was you know we need to sp stay very focused on the Lord uh, during this time especially because if we don't we're not going to be grounded we won't be on the rock the solid rock of the foundation of Yahweh and so it's so important that we stay solid and that we stand and that we not let a lot of what's going on in the chaotic world affect our faith system, our faiths, our beliefs. And I'm a born again, water baptized, tongue speaking uh, believer of the, of the Lord. And uh, so I want to let you know that I was licensed and ordained. And uh, I have traveled, I've traveled all over the nations. And I was given a word back in 2012 through the Holy Spirit um, that I was to take my Davidic harp and my family's name uh, and the research I've done makes me often think that possibly somehow there's a lineage that goes way way back in time I don't I don't need to get into all that but I was told prophetically by different ones that I was to take the harp and to announce the second coming of the Messiah and we are I believe getting close to the days of his return now now that was 2012 when I went to the nations with my Davidic harp which prophetically it was a prophetic move and uh, it's so interesting because where I resided was right on Prophet Street in Jerusalem and I just think that's uh, Hanavim Hanavim Street used to be called Prophet Street and that's where I lived and uh, of course now uh, through the years I have you know I fly back and forth because I go to different nations and 
my home base is in the United States. But I just wanted to let you know that we will post some videos. We're still trying to make a decision uh, on whether we'll go any further with the other channel or what we'll go, what we will do there. But I just wanted to let you know that if you're a subscriber from that other channel, you may have wondered what happened to us because all of a sudden we were gone. And so, um, anyway, just want to say that um, now with the restrictions in Israel, of course, the vaccinations have come in, but I suggest you do your research. And, and again, we have to sta stand on the rock of God because uh, we need to understand what the truth is because I'm sorry to say that most all the media now, we're not, we're not hearing solid truth. And that's why, if you don't have the Holy Spirit in you, I ask you to turn to Yeshua. Turn to Him and uh, follow His ways. And, you know, it says in Romans, it says in uh, Romans 10, I think it's 10, 9, that if you believe on Him and you believe in His resurrection, you will be saved. And we are in those times now, so I really pray that you are born again because we must be born again anyway thanks for listening and um we'll be posting more videos on this channel which is the king david worship jerusalem channel and my name is victoria bolton thanks for listening god bless